What's up guys, I'm Lan here. Welcome back to one more new video on my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what we can expect from upcoming iOS 14.5 update with iPhone XR or all the iPhone devices. So as you can see, this is an iPhone XR and I'm running it with iOS 14.4. So let me go to the general and let me go to the about. As you can see, it is on the stable version of the software side that is iOS 14.4 with the build number 18D52. So with this update, I just wanna mention that today Apple released iOS 14.5 beta 3. So iOS 14.5 stable version is expected very soon. So in this video, I'm gonna share my experience also I'm gonna show you the Geekbench score how has it been really performing because it's now over a month that we are using iOS 14.4 also gonna talk about a long-term usage of this iOS 14.4 along with the battery life and overall experience that I have been through with this you know past one and a half months so let's just get started with the video but before that if you're new here on my channel and happen to enjoy this kind of videos I would really appreciate if you can give this video a like and also could subscribe to the channel that motivates me a lot to make more of this kind of videos for you guys and with that being said let's get right into the video Alright guys, so the first thing first, as I showed you before as well, this is running on iOS 14.4. Now let's first thing first, let's talk about the battery life. So let me go to the battery section and first before showing you the graph and all, before you know explaining you the battery life, let me go to the battery health and as you can see it still supports the peak performance capability so it's on its 90 percent so i just want to say that that i have been using this iphone 10r for now over 24 months and this is perfectly okay to have 90 percent of battery life i get most of my comments on my videos that why the battery life is dropping and should i update to the latest version of ios will it degrade the performance will it degrade the battery health so people are concerned about the battery life so i just want to make sure i just want to tell you that the ios updates does not degrade your battery performance it just rechecks recalibrates so the your battery measurements and it just you know put the numbers over here so that's what you see so now let's talk about my battery life overall so as you can see this is how the last 24 hour battery graph looks like now if i go to the last 10 days as you can see the average screen on time is 6 hour 4 minutes so as you can see here and you know as always youtube phone whatsapp uh, these are the most popular applications that are using most of my screen time so as you can see six or four minutes so let's take an example of uh, yesterday so yesterday i have used my phone till 50 percent and for that i have got a screen on time of four hour 31 minutes so that translates overall a screen on time of seven to eight hours close to that so i think so with ios 14.4 this device aging two years so that's pretty okay battery life for this iphone 10 so let me know in the comment section below how you are having the battery life with iphone 10r or iphone 11 so how's the battery life how is the screen on time for you guys i know many of you are having complaints with battery life but i'm sure that with ios 14.5 coming very soon the battery life would be improved now let's talk about some of the performance issues that i had before and whether that have been resolved or not so i have told my in my previous videos that i had performance issues while you know scrolling through the widget section and opening the application and while i'm closing the application there are some certain lags that i was able to see so that have been fixed and apart from that today i had the opportunity to run the geekbench score so with ios 14.4 with my iphone 10r as you can see the single score cpu is 1115 and the multi score cpu is 1881 so if you're too much worried about the performance i would really suggest you that you kind of download this kind of geek pain score and uh, you know run this you know benchmark and let me know are you getting the similar kind of results because a lot of you comment on my videos that i am having performance issues with my device and all so also i just wanted to talk about the beta stages because it's been the one and a half months since we are stuck with ios 14.4 apple is really working on their beta profile so if i have to download the beta profile i would get ios 14.5 beta 3 right now so it looks like that ios 14.5 beta 3 has been released today so i think so with ios 14.5 you know 
with continuous development with the beta stages we are still you know a bit away from the ios 14.5 public release so i would hope that with ios 14.5 public release the battery life the overall improvements and also we get to see some of the new features as we are closing more towards ios 15 there are leaks and rumors about ios 15 let me know that whether you like a separate video on ios 15 leaks and rumors in this video i just wanted to mention that with probably you know two or three weeks down the line we could see ios 14.5 before that we are just stuck with ios 14.4 now of course you have the flexibility to install the beta profiles if you are flexible with beta profile just go to apple.beta.com and then you know download and install the beta profile on your iphone and you can start using ios 14.5 right now but if you are one of those people who are not worried too much about the battery life and not worried too much about the performance and new features they are okay to wait just like me then you can go ahead and you know continue using ios 14.4 this video was just an update at how my device have been with ios 14.4 and when we can expect ios 14.5 so this was just a quick update that I hope that we get to see iOS 14.5 very very soon. And with that being said, I hope that you like this short video. If you do like this video, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on my next video. Bye.